What is going on everyone? Steven Dudling here from Dubsy Studios 25 and today I'm going to show you guys some things you can do at the beginning of the game to make it a lot easier. So we're going to start a new game here. We're going to watch this live action cutscene. We're going to do some character creation. Then we're going to do some bullshit. We're going to do some more bullshit. More bullshit. And watch some stupid TV and we're going to look at the Enclave flag. Then we're going to look outside. We're going to look at our amazing wardrobe. We're going to watch this asshole walk. We're gonna open the door for him and he'll introduce himself. vault calling! We'll talk to him. We're gonna enter our name a little bit here. We're gonna enter our points a little bit here. And we're gonna slam the door closed on his bitch ass. And we're gonna inappropriately touch our child. We're gonna spin his little spaceships around him. We're gonna watch the TV and hog it. Cause we own this house, damn it. We're gonna run. We're gonna run a little more. And we're gonna beg to get in the vault cause we're on the list. This guy's not even gonna look at the list and he's gonna let us right in cause he's dumb. And we're gonna walk onto a platform. Somehow we're gonna manage not to go blind from this. And somehow we're gonna manage to survive that. And we're gonna be down here and we're gonna get a sales pitch. Vault 111. A better future underground. And we're gonna get our new vault suit from that woman. We're gonna go ahead of the doctor, not follow him because he's a terrorist. And we're not gonna comfort our family and we're just gonna go right into the pod without saying goodbye because we don't care about those motherfuckers. We're gonna freeze. We're gonna unfreeze. Complicated and unfortunate events happen. We're gonna freeze again, and once again unfreezed, and we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna fight some rad roaches, we're gonna pick up some stim packs and a gun and some ammo, and we're gonna get the hell out of there. We're gonna pick up our new vault suit, instead of the old ratty one. We're gonna get the hell out of the vault. We're gonna run over to Sanctuary. We're not even gonna talk to Codsworth, we're just gonna go right into our house to our first item, the special book. Now uh, you can use this to put a point in any of your special skills. I'm going to do Charisma. Now we're going to wander out of Sanctuary to get the second item. We're going to walk out this way. Eventually you'll see this little branch in the river. That's how you know you're going the right way. You'll go northeast. You'll find this person. You'll kill this person if you're a terrible, terrible human being like I am. Then you'll find the robotics disposal ground. The sentry bot is standing right there. And this is our second item, the Fat Man. Now for the third item, we're going to open the door at the building at this location. We're going to pick up the Hot Router magazine because... And then we're going to go and eject the hollow tape out of this terminal. Because we're going to run back down here. And we're going to make this sentry bot our bitch. So you'll plug in his hollow tape. And you'll activate him. Yep. Now the great thing about this guy is you can have him patrol an area and he will kill enemies for you. So you can make him go to any of these areas and he will kill some enemies there. So that's that's why he's a good dude. You can also initiate the self-destruct and you can kill him and take his stuff. But it's not really worth it. It's better to have him kill some enemies for you. Now he doesn't work. He'll just kind of boot up like this here. But he does not actually work yet and doesn't move. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel over to Sanctuary. We're going to get there, and then we're going to fast travel right back. Now, when we walk in here, he's going to be rolling around, and we're going to go back to the hollow tape, and we're going to tell him to defend USAF Olivia. Now, he's going to roll on over there. Now, he's going to cool down a little bit here because he's been walking. He's going to fight some enemies. This is good. Good stuff. Thank you, Sentry Bot. And we're going to run back to Sanctuary. We're going to run through it. You can pick up some stuff in that garbage can, by the way. But we're going to go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop and greet the Hound. Once we talk to the Hound, we're going to go back to Vault 111. We're going to open up Vault 111. And once inside, we're going to grab the Cryolator. So what we'll do is we'll talk to him, we'll tell him to fetch, and we will tell him items. And he will bark a little bit, then he will sniff, and he'll walk over to the case, pull it right out. Now, to get the ammo for the, the cryo cells, you need to trade, pick them up from the dog's inventory. And then you will have the cryo later. Congratulations. Now we're back at the red rocket here and we are gonna get a fusion core for our final item. We're gonna go into the mole rad den, which is right behind the red rocket. We're gonna walk down in here and encounter some hostiles. I'm gonna kill these mole rats here. And then we're going to walk over to the right and pick up the fusion core. And we're going to walk on out of here. Now we're going to go over this way to the church. As you can see, those raiders are fighting Preston Garvey there. We're going to go inside the church. 
We're gonna go up on the roof and jump across to the vertibird. We're gonna walk across the vertibird and we're gonna get to the power armor. This is the last item. The fusion core will be put in there. We'll get in and then we're gonna take the minigun. This way you don't have to do the quest for the Miniman, you don't have to fight the Deathclaw. Now you can go right back to Sanctuary or wherever with your power armor. So that's all I have for you guys. That's five things to do right at the beginning of the game. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all later. You all have a great day.